So in this question, we're looking at the idea of what impedance is. So we read the question, it says, determine the magnitude of the impedance of the component shown below to a sinusoidal current which oscillates at 50 hertz. And enter your answer in units of kilo. So that's just specific to the quiz. But what we're looking at here is what is the impedance, the size of it, the magnitude, based on some frequency value on this component. So let's do this on the overhead. In the question, we've got this component here. Now, one of the first things you need to be able to do with this is work out what is this component. Thirty-six kilo ohms. Now, this shape or this symbol represents a component known as a resistor. And what we're essentially trying to do here is work out what is the impedance of this resistor, or the magnitude of the impedance, which is the magnitude of its impedance, if the frequency is 50 hertz. So each component in a circuit will have a certain impedance depending on its frequency. And the three components we look at are resistors, which in this case we have a resistor, or inductors and capacitors. And what you see is that the inductors and capacitors, their impedance depends on the frequency value. That's something we covered before. Whereas the resistance, sorry, the impedance of a resistor is fixed. So when you're asked here, what is the impedance or the magnitude of this impedance? And the impedance of any resistor, so we'll say the impedance of a resistor is just its resistance value. And that's measured in ohms. So for this example here, we have a resistor. So the overall impedance of it it's just its resistance, which in this case is just 36 kilo ohms. And to be specific then, the magnitude of that impedance is just the size of it. But in this case, it's still just 36 kilo ohms. Now in Questions with inductors and capacitors, it's slightly different. So we'll split it up. If we had an inductor, for example, and let's say it, we're told it has an inductance of 10 millihenries, we want to know the impedance between those two nodes, node one and node two. In that case, the impedance of an inductor, set out, is, apologies, is J times 2 pi F L. So we see here it depends on the inductance and the frequency. And the magnitude of that inductance. We ignore, if we're looking for the magnitude, we're just going to ignore the imaginary component. It would just be 2 pi f that. And if we compare that then to the other component, which would be a capacitor, let's assume this is a capacitor which 140 microfarads of capacitance, and we want to know what the impedance and the impedance of a capacitor and is minus j times 1 over 2 pi fc. Again, it depends on its frequency, the frequency of the supply, and the capacitance value we're given. Again, so it's to be specific and clear. 
And if you, again, you want to know the magnitude of those reducer capacitor, it's just going to be this part here, 1 over 2 pi FC. So that's the basic idea of impedance for those three components. Then if we're looking at combinations of them in series, we have two or three in the series then. The total of the over, over impedance is just the impedance of the first component plus the impedance of the second component and so on. And I don't think in these quizzes we'll be dealing with parallels, so we won't, we'll ignore that for the moment. But I hope I have that, I hope that helps clear a bit of that up for you. 